So I want to talk to you a little bit about how the nerves are related to the fascia and to the fascia blaster. And we're going to use one of the most common places people have nerve pain, which is the SI joint. However, this goes for every joint, every spot on the body, because the nerves run through the fascia and so they can become compressed or pinched anywhere within the fascia tissue. Just to help have it be in perspective, we're going to use Mr. Bojangles, the skeleton, because this is the part of the body that I have drawn up here on the board. So we can clearly see the bones. These are all independent joints, every single spinal segment, you know, each rib, the elbow, it doesn't matter where it is on the body. These are all these individual segments. Then the body is covered with muscle tissue, and then we have the long muscles that come up the back, like our lats. So this is the muscle part of it. But what there's not a lot of consideration given to is to what is going on with the fascia. And we have fascia inside each of these vertebral segments. Again, doesn't matter if it's an elbow, finger joint, same thing, the fascia is running through there. It runs in super long lines, just like the muscles, and we're talking about the connective tissue. People call it membrane, they call it a lot of things, but what it is, is fascia. And we're talking about two types of fascia. We're talking about these long lines. That's our structural fascia. And then inside the muscles, kind of like cobwebs, we have the interstructural fascia. So running all throughout the spine, again, bottom of the feet, knees, all the way up the neck, brachial plexus, we have these nerves shooting out everywhere. And remember, all of these nerves are running within the fascia. So you can start to see where things could go awry. <laughs> The fascia is sticky. It is also a reactionary system, so it can spasm. So if things spasm, then we can take this whole pelvis and every bit of it compresses, or we can have this whole elbow and it can compress. We can have our entire body go on to lockdown and start having fibromyalgia type symptoms. So it can encase you like, I think of it like those space bags where you put a big fluffy sweater in and you suck out all the air and then all of a sudden it's this big, so the fascia can react like that everywhere, but also can stick to itself and create these fascial adhesions, which are almost like little internal scabs. And it's very common that if we get enough adhesions, that not only does it clamp on nerves, but it can actually start to cause a freezing of the joint, meaning a total lockdown of the joint. So anywhere that we have a fascial adhesion that it's clamping on a nerve, that's somewhere that we can have a nerve issue. And a nerve issue will present as a zinger, like fire shooting down your leg. It can cause tingling, it can cause numbness, it can cause other symptoms such as drop foot, muscle atrophy. So you can imagine how important it is to the nervous system to have clean and healthy fascia all over your body. And that's where the fascia blaster comes in. So the fascia blaster, you would run it across the skin into the first layer of fascia and then over time, deeper and deeper and deeper to restore these fascial adhesions as well as loosen the overall fascia system. And we know that this is working because when we did our scientific studies, you can clearly see in the before ultrasound, even though it's a thigh, you can see that the white stuff, which is all the fascia, is very mangled. And then in the after picture, look how beautiful and smooth it is. So imagine if our whole body had none of these fascial adhesions, it was not sticking to the muscles, not closing the joints, not clamping on the nerves. So it's really, really a very impactful tool for our nervous system.